Ripio Credit Network is a protocol based on smart contracts and blockchain technology that opens the door to global credit, connecting lenders and borrowers with RCN tokens, which allow lendings on any currency anywhere in the world. Hey everybody, in this video of Proof of Make, we take a look at Ripio. Ripio is basically cryptocurrencies and the blockchain meet micro lending and bonds. Borrowers can request loans and lenders can lend to them. All loans occur in the Ripio coin. In this video, we're going to sit down with our CTO Ty and take a look at Ripio. All right, so now I'm going to sit down with our CTO Ty and take a look at Ripio. All right, Ty, so this is RCN, or Ripio. It's the Ripio Credit Network. All right. Um, so the idea of this is really interesting. It was conceived to create an alternative loan platform. All right. So what I like a lot about this is the idea, you know, we've talked about this a lot, you know, the bond market making its way on to the Ethereum blockchain. That'd be, yeah, we, I think we're very excited about the prospect of having yes. um, derivatives and that kind of thing. And so various types on there. But, you know, so this is one of the first kind of micro lending platforms that could ultimately morph into that. Very cool. Um, so you know, you go to the website, you can see their team, etc. Uh, but let's take a look at their actual platform. So um, it's actually one of the things I noticed about the site is that when you go here to their main website, you can't actually get to their platform. Um, they have like the roadmap, their team, etc. Uh, but if you actually join the community, you'll find out that there's a place there's uh, called rcn.loans. rcn.loans is where you go to actually see the platform. Bingo. Got so it. as you can see here, you can go in and look, this was created by Ripio. It's a loan. Right. Um, and it's, you know, has 76 days in it. Annual interest, 30%. So this is kind of like the old days of like junk bonds, right? You know, high yeah, yields, that's, that's a high yield, interest high yield bonds are usually for like really, yeah. really low, but it has a little check marks in and says this is a low risk loan. Okay. So I mean, okay. Uh, interesting. It says, yeah, created by Ripio. So it looks like it's a company loan that they're created. Now, uh, I can't confirm that, but that's what you would think. Um, so you can see, so they did a, a partnership with Central Land. All right. Um, so they're doing, you know, land on the blockchain. And so they have, you know, they're a mortgage creator and they are saying, okay, here, here, they want this much. And the actual, what this is, is in dollars. It's not Ethereum. Is it Ripio token? It's the Ripio token. Ripio yeah. token. Yeah. So, uh, right. so you could actually make loans with their token. So you'll need to go get their token. So actually, I went to Total, uh, so which we covered in a recent right, video, right. and you can easily get RCN here. So okay, so it's an ERC twenty token. Then it's an ERC twenty token on the Ethereum blockchain. Right. And um, but but as you can see down here, I already have some uh, RCN, so you can search for it and trade, and yeah. you can just easily buy it. Um, if I wanted to buy more, as we know. Yeah, you know, I just you know, slide it out. Slide it out. Yeah, yeah, and just easily, yeah, you know, just grab, grab more token. So once you connect with MetaMask, you can just click over, and yeah, I can see my balance. So I have three thousand six hundred Ripio. All right. All right. So let's find uh, someone to finance. So uh, you'll need to do the whole amount. So look, this one's fourteen hundred. I have six thousand. Right. I can then, you know, this one is a sixty-four percent annual interest, thirty-day loan, lend, right? It'll then tell me to connect with Civic. So you'll need the Civic app. All right. And so with Civic, you basically have to, it's a third party app. It's for the you know, identity, decentralized identity kind of thing. You confirm your phone number, you confirm your email address, right? Okay. And then, um, now the thing about Civic, and if you're gonna actually do this, is you need to make sure to hold your phone sideways. A little kind of hacky thing they got kind of going on, but look, I'm, I'm trying to scan the QR code now with my Civic app. And it's taking a little there bit, but I just scanned it. And then there you go. So right. you can see that uh, it's at waiting and then it starts and says your transaction is being processed. Okay. And then, and then you do it, it comes again. It says it, approval of this integration. So then it kind of comes up again. Right. Now I don't know what's happening here. I wish they would tell me, but I'm going to just scan this again. And we did this before, right? So you, you kind of scan, scan, scan. I don't know how many maybe, loans. Maybe there's like a, like a call in response to yeah. what you're doing. Okay. So it, I wish they would let me, yeah, I wish they would right. let me know. And then it kind of just sits here. Um, so okay. let's just wait and we'll see what happens. It's probably still faster than like going through a bank, right? I mean, yeah, let's see. I mean, it will depends. Um, I, I, re I wish the, the one feedback I have for our, uh, RCA would be to say, give a message here. What's actually, right, what's happening, actually happening here? Right. right. You know, I, I think with a lot of, you know, uh, Ethereum based platforms, you know, a lot of the communities will come back 
especially after watching our videos, and they'll say something like, well, you should read the whole white paper mm -hmm. um, and then know everything about what was in the founders' heads, and then you would understand what's happening now. Um, but I think that you know whatever they're doing can maybe even be summarized right. in one or two lines to let you know because you know it's been you know maybe what thirty seconds now, et cetera. Um, nothing's happened with MetaMask now. I did approve MetaMask when right. I first started, um, so we're just kind of just waiting to see what happens. So let's see. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. So, it's being so it says it's being processed, and oh, then it right. says do it again. That's so I don't know if this is a bug, but it just keeps asking me to keep approving stuff. So I, I think right. at this Sorry. point, most users right. would just say, okay, look. Um, What's going on here? Um, you know, exit or cancel, uh, and then if I go here and I look at my if I click activity, it just shows me um, it just shows me all the active loans. Got it. So not my activity. So I can't really check what happened. Um, and I think this is just a kind of you know I like the idea. I like the idea right, of right. what Ripio is doing. And you know, it might be a civic problem, it might be whatever, but it would be nice. And I think this UI could, you know, obviously use a little work. I mean, they they put a lot of work into this site, like their homepage. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks it, good. It, it, you know, it's a decent looking nice. site. But then you kind of go over here right. to their actual platform, and you're kind of like, okay, um, you know, even like their load, like you know, I, I would maybe brighten this up or something like that. Would just be small things. Um, explain kind of a little bit more. I mean, you right. click on details, and so here you can get the information about go. what what's going on. Um, and so, yeah, this is kind of their process that they go through. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. so this is... I, I dig the look of it. I really yeah. like the look of yeah. it. This, this is a consensus joint, right? I know they're, they're associated with some consensus people. Okay. With right. some consensus, right. consensus companies. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a look. Love the idea. Um, if I look at my loans, it says I'm not a lender. I've been okay. trying to lend, you know, all day, kind of going through that same process as you just saw. I have the Ripio token. But I think it's just early software, and I'm excited yeah. to see... Uh, where they go. The concept is cool. I think it would be nice to be able to use maybe like USDC or TUSD or something and lend in US dollars because this fluctuates, right? Like whenever right. you make a loan in a, foreign, like in a foreign currency, like in traditional markets, that's very risky. Right. Because right. you're kind of, you know, we saw what happened with Turkey, right? You know, when they're, yes, exactly. they're in collapse and then they're repaying. So I mean, we've seen what happened with the crypto markets too. Yeah, crypto and markets big up and yeah. down. Yeah, they go. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I, technically, yeah. So it, it kind of all depends, you know. Um, you know, if you want to kind of gamble on that kind of thing, but I think that you know you're going to want kind of a stable-ish currency, right? So the fact that they're using their <laughs> coin and it's not pegged to anything really, or it's not immediately apparent that it is. If you look at their their value for market, it fluctuates a lot. So the, okay. the value of RCN does fluctuate quite a bit. Today it's down, right. I think, two or three percent from yesterday, right? So that would be a, that would make a big difference. But I mean, these these interest rates are pretty big. If you're you're lending, you know, you know that. You know, in 30 days, you know, you don't expect, you know, Ripio to go up or down 60%. So, um, yeah. so yeah, it's an interesting platform, interesting concept, and um, I'm interested where it goes. Yeah, same here. I, I wanna, it's a dream platform. Helps dreams come true. Yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it's, a, good, it's a good place to, to start. And I, I would yeah. love to see bonds on the blockchain. So, this is one of the companies that's starting to do it. They did a token sale last year. Yeah, let's see where they go. All right, right on.